Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. And Lynn here from the Learn English Network, in case you're wondering where you are. Uh, but I think you all know me. <laughs> I did discover the other day that sometimes people fall into this session and they don't actually say hello. And then they sort of like get very confused and leave. So this is for learning English. OK, if you just happen to be here listening in on the stream or in the uh, session. <laughs> so 111, if you can hear my dulcet tones. That would be very helpful. And today um, we're going to do a lot of screen sharing. And I will want a few volunteers to come and speak with me. Um, but we'll start with a screen share of the forum because this topic began because of Frank asking a question and asking me to um, do a little bit of correction for him on the forum. OK, so let me just turn screen share on. You but you'll find it here under Chit Chat Science. What's scientific about holding hands? Well, of course, Frank is very much into the body language. He is a body language expert, much more than myself. And um, we've talked about shaking hands before. OK, and this was specifically about the impressions a handshake can give. OK, and um, I think we all have at least shaken one person's hand in our life. But because of the news, I've decided we're not going to talk about handshakes. You can join the conversation here. Um, and I did do the correction. I think um, actually Larry also corrected parts of it. Um, so there's double corrections out there somewhere. <laughs> um, and Frank then mentioned a particular handshake between Donald Trump and Neil Gorshuk. OK, um, the yank and pull handshake. Well, there you go. It's a sort of a power play kind of handshake. And uh, again, worth talking about. But then something happened in the UK. And this is what we're going to talk about, not about shaking hands, but holding hands. So first, I'd like to ask you all, what's the difference between shaking hands and holding hands? Oh, I can't type today. What is, is, is there a difference between shaking hands and holding hands? Oh, kissing hands. Yeah, we're not going to go into that one. Oh, I don't want to even think about Trump and kissing hands. <laughs> There's the movement. Yes, yeah, shiny. Yeah, absolutely. When you shake hands, there is movement, usually up and down. OK, um, so that's one difference. Yes. Shanking doesn't take much time. Be careful. There is a verb to shank someone, which means to stab them with a shank. OK, <laughs> that's sort of prison vocabulary. <laughs> so shaking, I think you meant to say shaking hands doesn't take much time. Very true. Shouldn't it should. I think there's a set time, like two seconds. Any longer than that, it gets creepy. Um, <laughs> so shaking hands is, is short there's a set amount of time, whereas holding hands, well, I guess it depends how long you want to hold hands for. Yep, rather than holding it, yeah, rather than keeping the moment. Shaking hands can be long too. I'm going to make you defend that statement if you dare to raise your hand, April. <laughs> but yeah, but there is a point when you're shaking hands at which you have to stop. Um, otherwise, you shake the other person's hand off or their arm drops off or something. So the over enthusiastic. But we're not going to talk about shaking hands today. We are going to talk about holding hands. OK. OK, so you don't want to hold Trump's hands. Yeah. Hands or hand. We tend to say holding hands. OK. Oh, again, I can't type. 
holding hands or holding someone's hand. Now, it's a strange one because sometimes people will insist on holding both your hands. That's weird to me. That's a different kind of hand holding then. If somebody takes both your hands in theirs. It's like they want you to pray. Let's pray together. <laughs> oh, no, get off me. <laughs> Shaking hands, you have to face each other. That's a good one, April. Yeah, absolutely. When you shake hands, it'd be very weird. Can you imagine shaking hands with the person behind you? It just wouldn't happen, would it? You're face to face with the person. And that doesn't always happen with holding hands either. That's very true. Holding hands tends to be side by side. Good. Good point. And shiny, quite right. It would be annoying if we shook because you've used that would. It would be annoying if we shook hands for a long time. Yes, it would be like, oh, come on, get it over with, let go. <laughs> Very true. Very true. And a good point. Any other ideas about the difference? Okay, that. If we take it, that's the difference. What are the similarities then between holding hands and shaking hands? I mean, to me, shaking hands is pretty much hello or goodbye or sealing an agreement, as Frank pointed out. Read, read the article. Um, he's got some very good points there as well. Okay. Okay, Marco, holding is more for couples. Yeah, that's where the Beatles song comes in, isn't it? Uh, the Beatles song is uh, when I say that's something, I want to hold your hand. By the way, in, when they sing, it's I want to I wanna hold your hand. <laughs> and it says, you let me be your man. You'll let me hold your hand. Okay. And then it goes on to love. So, yeah, you've got that couples, love, romance kind of a thing. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, Eleanor wrote about the golden handshake, yep, and there's the golden parachute as well, the golden handshake when you are welcomed into an organization with a large amount of money. If anybody would like to throw a large amount of money at me, I'm quite happy to join your organization. And the golden parachute when you leave a company and they give you a large amount of money, neither of which has ever happened to me, <laughs> which is very sad. But yeah, April, you're right. Holding hands isn't always about romance because children hold their own. Oh, when I was a child, the, the competition between me and my sisters about who was going to hold mum's hand. It was awful. Talk about sibling rivalry. It's embarrassing to think about it now. <laughs> so mothers hold their child's hand and children want to hold their mother's hand. That's not, re re that's not romantic. Marco, shaking hands is more for meetings. Yeah, the sealing the deal, to shake hands on something. Absolutely. Let's shake on it. Yeah, and that means to shake hands in agreement. Sometimes that can be contractually binding as well. Um, again, have a look at the thread if you're interested in that aspect of it. Yeah, not siblings rivalry, sibling. Sibling, oh, not sibling, sibling either. Sibling rivalry. The rivalry between siblings, that's brothers and sisters, okay? Uh, Monique, yes, to lead someone, yeah? Take the hand to lead them, maybe through a dangerous situation, maybe in the dark. Yeah? I mean, hand-holding is um, really important to hu contact, I should say. Sorry, not just hand-holding, but human contact is really important to people. Um, and I think we underestimate its importance unless we are in a situation where we are unable to form any kind of contact with people. So there's a, a symbolic 
aspect to holding hands. Now I'm going to share um, a link with you because this is a, I think it's Associated Press uh, image. I'm hoping it will work. Um, so this is what I would call, um, I think, the weird handshake, okay? And um, if you look at the actual link, I'm hoping it will work. This is from Business Insider. Now, this is a handshake that's almost a cross between a handshake and a handhold. So I'd like you to look at the image and then come and join me in the chat. So raise your hand, click on the request to speak button and come and join me here and tell me what you... I'm sorry I can't share it in the actual um, webinar, but I, I believe it's an Associated Press. I don't want to get on their bad side and end up with a, ba a ban. <laughs> but raise your hands if you'd like to come and discuss that picture with me, okay? Okay, Monique, I've invited you in. Uh, I'll wait for Monique to join, Shiny, and then I'll invite you in too. <clears throat> okay, it always takes a little bit of time to get in. You've got to go through the um, call quality test first. But hopefully Monique will show up any second now. Hi Monique, can you hear me? Can we hear you? Sure. I'm Don't forget to unmute. Okay. No, unmute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Great. I'll invite Shiny as well. But Monique, you're the first one in. So whilst Shiny is joining us, what do you think of that picture? Does it say anything to you? Do you think it's weird? I think it's really weird, but... Yeah, I mean, in, in the way he's holding her hand, it's a bit... Yeah, but I mean, it looks like uh, I want to, you know, like I'm really taking or I'm really... <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Like, <laughs> like I'm grabbing your hand, you know? It's like, <laughs> I got you, you know? Or something like I got you, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> This is going to be such a creepy session. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're waiting for uh, Shiny still, but when Shiny's in, I will invite you in as well, um, April and uh, Eleanor as well. You've both raised your hands. Raised your hand. Yeah, you see, hands are so important to raise your hand. Please, I want to speak. Or can I go to the toilet, miss? <laughs> By the way, if you've raised your hand to go to the loo, just go. It's okay. <laughs> But what, what to me it is, is if you look at the positioning of the hands, it doesn't look like any handshake I've ever seen. To me, handshakes are sort of side to side. And there might be somebody on top and somebody underneath, um, but only in, in whoever offered the handshake. And the, the person who accepted the handshake kind of dictates where they are. But that one, it's almost as if he's going in for a, a hand kiss. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, really yeah. does. I'm not sure where Shiny is. Shiny, are you with us? Let me stop screen sharing then I can. Yes, thank you. When, how? Shiny, hello. How does it make you feel, that particular picture? I hope you could see it. Yeah, I, I can see it. It's, uh, if you were me, I, I, I won't feel good. It would make you feel uncomfortable, yeah? Yes. To feel uncomfortable. Which one? The, 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 as the recipient or as the holder? The, the holder. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but who's holding whom? Is she holding his hand or is he holding? He looks like he's grabbed her hand, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, uh, it's like a wrap her hand. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is it not a strange handshake? And yet, I, I would take you, it like a, a sexual harassment. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> yes. I, shiny. It's been tried, but nobody's ever actually managed to get him for that. 
<laughs> now, remember, this is two world leaders as well. That's the other aspect of it that makes me uncomfortable. This isn't, um, you know, boss ver with employee. There's, but there's definitely a power play going on there. Maybe she's trying to dominate and he's going, no way, baby. <laughs> I'm going to kiss your hand. <laughs> she must have been terrified he was going to actually plant a kiss on it. <laughs> Hello, Eleanor. Nice to see you. Okay, April, you're next. I'll invite you in now. Eleanor, can we hear you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I hope you can hear me. Loud and clear. So I was oh, interested, wonderful. very interested in what you'd got to say about this one because of the kissing hands kind of thing. Is it weird to you or does that look okay uh do you mean this uh, uh the picture uh, uh it's not gentleman like uh, he should uh, train himself no it's not the slavic mouth not oh all. okay you see i can't really judge i i can't even remember uh, the last time anybody okay. kissed my hand <laughs> uh, I have I have some experience and uh, no no I I disappeared. You weren't impressed. No, not it. at all. Quite the opposite. <laughs> <Bless. laughs> Disgust. <laughs> yeah, it does creep me out. But and most things about this particular person creeps me out, as you know. Uh, by the way, if you're watching the stream or the replay, I will put these the links to the pictures um, on the YouTube. Um, recording okay so you can actually see what we're so, looking at but uh, copyright 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 it's killing me it's killing me it's killing me april I, hello so, oh sorry eleanor carry on if i may say something i'm not sure uh, in this case if your next session takes uh, place uh, uh, I mean the uh, American intelligence service. And, uh, <laughs> You're going to get blocked. Uh, but, yeah, it, it will be the end. Uh, so I, perhaps uh, you should say farewell to each other. Possibly. It's been really nice knowing you all. <laughs> Visit me in Guantanamo, <laughs> please. Send food. <laughs> um, Mark has just given an interesting uh, point about again the difference between shaking hands and holding hands shaking hands is more for meetings now that's um true um i don't know whether you meant business meetings or meeting and greeting okay meeting and greeting yes meetings yes formal meetings um and as i said before a meeting agreements agreements are often you shake hands on something uh but it is also used in other uh, aspects of life, you know, meeting somebody for the first time in a formal, at a party maybe, or being introduced to somebody by somebody in a formal way, you often do still shake hands, okay? Um, April, can you hear me? Can we hear you? Uh, yes, I can hear you. And I can hear you. Excellent. How did it make you feel, that particular handy, shaky, grabby, kissy, we're not quite sure what he's trying to do? handshake um with this picture i think we are a little bit um the, uh, uh, prejudge i think i think that is the what i want to say prejudge because of the both personality to be honest i don't like i'm not fond of both of them so if I want to see, if I want to judge this, uh, oh, sorry, if I want to judge this uh, picture, I have to 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 cover the the head, the faces of both of them, so I can give an honest uh, a judgment. I think. So and I think it, it doesn't it doesn't so bad because I think uh, Theresa May as a British. Uh, she wants. Uh, she wants to be like uh, the queen. So if you if you want to, if you get a, a handshake from the, the queen, I think it is just like that. The, she gives you uh, your uh, her hand, one hand. Uh, not, I think it, it, she put it like uh, with the 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 hand palm uh, below, and then the one who wants to accept it. It will take her hands and kiss her. 
yeah, just, as you said, it's that it's like the uh, handkiss uh, manner of uh, of handkiss handkiss. Yeah, so I think it's not so bad if you don't see the faces of both of them. And I'm a, a, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I agree with you. Put the paper bag on their heads. <laughs> yeah. And I agree with Shani. I don't fond of, uh, I'm not very fond of uh, uh, that kind of uh, uh, handshake, uh, shaking hands, uh, Shani. So I prefer also bow, like in Japanese, or like the Arabic way, just uh, touch the, the fingers, I think the top of the fingers, and then uh, you bring your hand to your chest. That is more nice and and uh, and cleaner and uh, uh, politer, I think. So I agree with Shani in this in this uh, context. Yeah, I think that can depend on cultural background because I've got no problem with people shaking hands. It's how they shake hands that matters. I do have a problem with holding hands. We're going to come to that in a moment. Um, let me just have a look at the comments here. Uh, shiny, I'm glad we don't have this culture. Uh, April, it's like teleporting. That's weird. Uh, Eleanor, he's greedy. That's interesting. Why do you think, does, is that coming out of the picture or just that's what you think of him in general from the news, etc.? Uh, it's the manner of uh, uh, holding her hand, uh, the hair palm. Uh, that's what. Uh, that's why uh, I I have written Interesting, it. isn't it funny how we can look at a picture and just see different things in it? I hadn't thought about the greedy, but now you mention it, it's like I want it all, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it, and, and it's not the the, the manner of uh, a, a polite uh, a politely kissing a lady's hand. Not well, as as April mentioned, you know, the Queen might offer you her hand and it's very much, you can tell the difference between I want to shake your hand and I want you to kiss my hand. It's about position. Uh, shaking hands, the hand will be vertical with the palm facing inwards and maybe with the thumb raised, ready to do the grab. And kissing your hands is more a relaxed hand with the palm facing downward, the thumb tucked in. Quite elegant, I think. But honestly, I don't. I don't offer my hand to be kissed by anybody, by anybody. <laughs> um, Monique, you you said it doesn't bother me shiny. Actually, I think it would help me to make a first impression of someone. Is that a good first impression or a bad first impression? Take the mic. But, but I think it's hard just to judge that picture because we know them <laughs> and we know yeah, all true. the I should have that it or they, something shouldn't i <laughs> you know the problem with trump is that he has that um you know that ability to stir up some anger so it's uh you know even if to you stir up it, emotions because exactly. not everybody reacts with anger i'm amazed at the, some of the positive things that are said about he's done more for us in this last six weeks than obama did in four years oh god help us <laughs> but when, when you said um just generally taking out who they are okay i know it's difficult but removing the fact that they're two world leaders um in what way does a handshake or the offer of the hand help you make form, by the way, help you form a first impression of someone? I would say that I, in, in that case, I should be, uh, I mean, be in her position just to feel because when you have that contact, you also can feel the how that person holds your hand and the also if it's hard or if it's just a soft way so, you know i mean there are a lot of things involved i mean we can judge the the, the picture i would say that is something that i just i, I want to take control of you <laughs> yeah. I see there. but but also we are missing the other part and it's just being the, the recipient of that um shake hand so so i think yeah we need to we should know more about that but just by doing it you know very true. Now, um, I don't know if Marco wants to join us, but Marco, raise your hand if you'd like to join us in the call. Don't be frightened. I cleared my cash before the session. If it crashes, it crashes. <laughs> okay. I, I did a little bit of Googling. I asked Professor Google and um, about the symbolic meaning of holding hands. Again, not, ha not handshakes. That's 
why I used that picture because I'm like, what is that? Are they shaking hands? Is he going to kiss her hand? Are they holding hands? It's like, you know, the, if there had been a table between them with a vase of roses and some candles, I would have said that's a great Valentine's Day picture for a couple, a romantic couple. <laughs> so let's have a look at the some of the text I found. Okay, you can't speak. Okay, Marco, it's fine. It's fine. So, and I found this, the symbolic meaning of holding hands is the connection between two people and the feeling of safety while in the company of a loved one. According to the New York Times, holding hands denotes affection, protection, and comfort. So taking those three words, affection, protection, comfort, which one do you think that actually would symbolize? According to the picture, Any of them? you mean? Mm, looking at that picture again, does it <laughs> make you think affection? Ah, okay, none I from April. Reason. Why not? Why not April? <laughs> April, uh, take the mic. That is, that is again because we have a prejudgment. If I uh, that I have maybe you, I don't know about you, but uh, I have uh, because I know who they are. So it is a little bit uh, unfair to say, but. You, if you, you, but you have to 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 observe the this handshake, handshake with uh, looking at the at the faces of them, both of them, because otherwise you can you you only see two hands uh, two hands uh, uh, in 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 one <laughs> in ones two hands in ones united in ones, and you can't see the expression of the of the faces. So you have to see, and that is the, that is the, that's why it's not unfair. And I think uh, this is more. Uh, uh, if I I see the expression of uh, Trump, it is more that she he wants to 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 uh, show that uh, he is better than the others. That is what I what I have in this uh, picture in this picture. Eh? But if you, I only see the hands, only that is uh, more difficult to judge. It, I, I know I should have found something a bit more neutral, but it was too too good not to share. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, Monique says protection from the guy to the woman. If we avoid the fact that we know them, so you think it's more of a sort of. Um, I'll look after you, I'll protect you, paternalistic kind of a handhold, yeah? Money, take the mic. Yes, if I just judge the, that part of, I mean, hands, I would say that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be there for you, you know, I can care, uh, I can take care of you. Yeah, I would say that. Hard, definitely, but yeah. Good, which, um, right, I'd like somebody to read the next bit of text for me and um, hang on so volunteer somebody take if you type read in the text chat okay Eleanor I can will do as well Eleanor <laughs> you're next April if you'd like to read this part of the text okay According to Stephanie Rosenblum of the New York Times, handholding is used in a variety of relationships. Young children and their parents, romantic couples and adults and their aging parents all tend to hold hands. With each unique relationship, handholding means something different. Couples held hands as a sign of deep connection and also as a display of the relationship. Young children held their parents' hands out of affection and the need for protect protection. Elder children may hold their aging parents' hands for balance and support and to show they are there for them. Each instance of hand holding, however, has one thing in common a strong connection between the participants. People rarely held hands with strangers. Instead, they held hands with people they love, whether it is a lover, a child, or a parent. Physical contact is a large part of human relationships. 
providing comfort and feeling of closeness, so holding hands is a simple symbolic way of showing fond feelings towards loved ones. Very good, nicely read. Just the one word, couples. A couple. A couple. Couples, yeah. A couple. couple. I'll have a couple and then couples as in people together. Good. Tell me the difference uh, between couple. a couple, <laughs> I'll have a couple, or they are a couple, but couples is generally two people in a relationship. So, and quite rightly pointed out that it can be not just young children and their parents, which I think April you mentioned, and not just couples in a romantic relationship, but older children and their parents parents as as people become older we tend to and I was doing some hand holding recently and that's exactly um the way it was okay I often hold hubby's hand by the way I'm like that I'm a touchy-feely kind of person but uh, in this particular instance it was a, a more of a farewell hand holding it was very sad and totally not romantic and not about power or anything but it was about comfort offering comfort by holding hands and um, I think sometimes that's what hand holding can be as well offering support and comfort Okay, any questions about the text? Uh, yeah, Lind, uh, if you say uh, holding hands, do we have to give some uh, seconds sometimes? Because, uh, for example, I, I, I think more about the, uh, the, the meaning of uh, ha uh, holding hands in uh, support, like you said, uh, symbolic of support, not support for uh, your beloved beloved ones or somebody who who you know already. But for example, if uh, uh, I have to uh, to step down down the stairs, for example, and uh, from from the from the boat, for example, from the boat to the to the wall uh, to the to the land. And uh, the 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 owner of the boat will give me a hand just to help me, just to 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 be sure that I'm I will not drown like in your in in Kitely, in your sea. <laughs> so that is more for me more. Oh, your boots. Oh, yeah. Your boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we do have a saying to offer a helping hand. Yeah? That's it. That's it. Yeah. So that is for me more holding hands too, not only for. Uh, uh, people who knows already it's other for more comfort or or or, or uh, protection, but more just a second of helping hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I'd call that actually holding hands because of the length of time it is it involves, um, especially if it's just in support to sort of step down from something or across a gap or uh, in a chival you know sort of chivalry we're coming on to chivalry like uh, <laughs> in our Friday session a sort of chivalry kind of support or holding hands um, yeah is that holding hands or is that just offering a hand uh, giving a helping hand slight difference I think slight difference okay Okay, so April, you're going to read next if there's no more questions. And um, the question is, what can we truly tell from holding hands? Okay, so let's see. April, here's your text. Okay, eye contact is usually the first thing in almost any human interaction, but the first physically a physical contact will probably involve the touch of hand to hand. It's usually the, the initial physical contact to, to reveal positive intentions and establish some intimacy and trust. When we reach our hand in greetings, we acknowledge the person before us and show some confidence in them. In return, we expect to receive the same treatment. This is why handshakes and how they're done play such a vital part in business meetings. We want to feel that we can trust the other guy to make a deal. To hold hands with our loved one is the advance from, oh, the advance form for that matter. It shows more permanent fondness rap, uh, rapport, rapport, 
respect, concern, trust, and perhaps romantic feelings. Rapport. Mm. Mm. Rapport. It's a silent T. Comes from the French, oh. I believe. Okay, so. <laughs> um, do you know what rapport is? Do you ever feel uh, rapport? The, yeah. Uh, for me, rapport is uh, something that uh, the result, the result of something. Ah, are you sure you're not thinking about report? Yeah, for uh, in Dutch, rapport is uh, like uh, in the in school, for example, uh, after the at the end of the year, you get a rapport. No, <laughs> you might have the feeling of rapport at the end of school because you have a close connection with the people you went to school with, but that would be a report. Okay, so a report is can be written up at the conclusion of something or you might report to somebody about something and tell them about it but rapport is a feeling and it's a feeling of connection and harmony where within groups okay especially within groups that communicate well i'm always striving to build rapport within the network within the learn english network because people i think if you can form rapport it doesn't nothing romantic about it it just means you get on yeah a close relationship yes monique without the romance getting in the way though it's it's just you like people you like being with them hanging out with them and you have this feeling of um being relaxed in their presence okay okay april uh, yeah, it's so it is just a, a, a very different meaning. <laughs> in, yes. in that, in <laughs> You've got a false friend there, you yeah. know, one of those false friends yeah. that can throw you. Uh -huh. I keep meeting them in German as well. They drive me nuts. It's very difficult to get rid of them as well, um, just to accept that. No, that's not what it means, because you think that's what it should mean. <laughs> Any questions? Who's going to read next? Okay, Monique, thank you. Okay. Now, one moment, a sec, one second. I've got to first send you to a picture. And for some reason, I've lost the picture. Uh, and this is from a little bit ago, and we were talking. Oh no, that's no, that's a useless one. Hang on. Yeah, that one will do. Okay. Um, so we're talking. We were talking about world leaders, and I'd like you to have a look at this particular photograph before you do this reading. Okay. Let me give you the link to the photo. Mm. Okay, Bush and some shake. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they look like brothers. <laughs> 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 but it, this, I mean, this was before social media. Okay, mm -hmm. which is interesting because um, you can imagine how it would be actually dealt with by social media uh, nowadays um, it would have gone viral okay but as it is it was pretty big news in America I didn't even know this had happened I'll be honest I didn't even know this had taken place um, it's an interesting aspect of the difference between cultures very different idea about uh, what you know they look like two credits <laughs> I won't share that particular photo link then, uh, Shai, I don't want you to get into trouble. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's your text, Monique, with that in mind, okay? Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. But as many things in body language, this expression of affection is not that simple. It seems to us that it is okay to hold one's hand, but not the other, even if we like them both very much. For example, a heterosexual man in the Western culture will almost never hold hands with another man. That's why the photo of George W. Bush holding hands with the Crown Prince Abdullah of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia 
uh, heat waves in the US, but was received calmly in the Arab culture. Romance and affection, the most obvious meaning for this gesture is the involvement of romance. You might remember the anxious anticipation to hold the hand of your first girl, boyfriend, or boyfriend. It was the next biggest step to reveal if they are really like you and want you around. Absurd images of rejection probably went through your mind as you tentatively and very consciously wrapped your hand around theirs. Insignificant and stupid as it might look today, it was probably your first attempt in building romantic physical intimacy. Very good. Very well done. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I'll share the links to the um the, to the text uh, in the uh, forum. Okay, and um, I think it's really interesting that we do have this. I don't know. I th I think you can if you go online again and you look at holding hands as species. So um, I mean, dogs don't hold hands. Although you will find lots of photographs online of dogs and cats holding hands. I'm doing that little in quotes thing with my fingers now um, because you know one paw is on another paw. Oh look, they're holding hands. <laughs> um, but we're not the only ones to hold hands. Do you know of any other um, creatures that do hold hands? We're all very quiet. <laughs> okay, kissing ladies' hands. Thank you, Eleanor. Is that a guide to how to do it? <laughs> I'll get my husband to read it so he can. Uh... <laughs> can you think of any other creatures that hold hands? Well, eight apes have been um, shown to hold hands. So we're not the only one. Yeah, apes. Yes. Like chimpanzees, etc. But we, I think um, the hand is so important because we do everything. Everything we do is with our hands. I know, apart from walking, we don't walk on our hands much. Well, some clowns walk on their hands. But um, let's have a look at uh, a little quote. So shiny. You're very quiet. You're not volunteering to read. But could you read this out, Shiny? Behold the hands, how they promise. Conjure, appeal, menace, pray, supplicate, refuse, <laughs> beckon, <clears throat> beckon, Inter in interrogate. Admire, confess, cringe, instruct, comment, mark, and what not besides with the variation and multiplication of variation, which makes the tongue envious. Very good. Well done. Conjure, by the way, to conjure. So a magician, often called a conjurer, somebody who does magic tricks. And of course, we know that sleight of hand yeah, is involved with magic. Okay, by con conjurers. Okay, now that was by Michel de Montaigne about how important hands are in in communicating. And anybody who's ever learned sign language knows that you can communicate anything with your hands. <laughs> and as English language learners, well, as language learners, do you ever find you use your hands to try and explain something, especially in a session when I can't see you? Do you ever do that? <laughs> 
Okay, Marco, bye. Sorry you couldn't talk today. Don't work too hard. <laughs> uh, I, do, I, was I do sometimes, I'll be honest, because when I'm trying to explain something to you and I don't use, as you know, I don't use the camera, but I'll find I'm actually pointing at something on the desk as if you can see me. <laughs> Anymore, oh, take the mic. Uh, I, I, I don't do it uh, when uh, uh, I am on my computer, but uh, I remember a very frustrating uh, uh, meeting. Uh, uh, I was in Vienna and uh, I met uh, uh, Italian, uh, an Italian excursion. Some ladies uh, were very nice and uh, the worst thing was that I understood what uh, uh, they uh, had said to me very well, but I, I wasn't capable to answer uh, because I didn't know Italian at all. Uh, they started talking about the Pope. Uh, uh, I, I understood everything, but <laughs> no way. So you can end the, the, to make things worse. Uh, uh, they uh, spoke only in Italian, so extremely frustrating. If you can't understand somebody, uh, that's okay, you can't, but if you can and, and you can't answer, it, it's steady. It's uh, really... I agree. I mean, Italians are very good at using hands and gesture. <laughs> Yes, but um, they, they, they didn't need to, to do it. it. It was me because uh, it was me. I understood, but, uh, you know, be, because if you know French and some, some Latin, it's easy to understand simple to sentences, yeah. but you, you simply can't build a phrase. <laughs> well, one thing happened to me recently when I was talking to somebody, which was quite shopping, shocking for me. I was trying to help them and they suddenly grabbed hold of my hand in order to sort of get my attention, I believe, or and, and then they both hands basically grabbed my hand, held it um, as they were sort of gabbling away at me in a language I didn't understand. And I was like, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> get off me. <laughs> totally different. OK, so um, it, Monique, take the mic. Um, yes, I was thinking about the, the gestures and oh my God, it's so I know, hilarious because um, usually or when I have, of course, my when I'm muted and uh, it's like I have another conversation here, <laughs> so it's like I'm talking or I'm just answering or just, OK, yeah, you're right. You know, but sometimes it's like, a, yeah, but I don't want to write that or oh, they just maybe just now they are talking about something else. Or, OK, never mind, you know, so it's it's so I mean, I really enjoy that. And I in the way I speak. So can you imagine my body language? Of course, I move my hands. Of course, I my my face, my eyes. So it's hard to believe when April says that she doesn't have uh, or maybe any gesture i cannot believe that because of the way she speaks you know and uh because she's, she always tend to, to describe things and just and i can imagine that so it's something in my mind so yeah. when she's describing something you see her as using like the me. whole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you know moving hands exactly. <laughs> Yeah, because voice is always uh, next to that uh, body language. I mean, in my case, you know, so when I'm explaining that something is huge. So can you imagine my, my hands just huge and open my, my arms and just try to, I know that no one is looking at me, but it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, um, I can avoid that. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> cool. April, you, you really don't gesture much? You say I don't. By the way, you say I don't think I gesture much. Okay, I, or I don't think I gesture. I use gestures a lot, but I don't think I gesture much. Is that really true? Because I'm a little bit like Monique. I always think you as being a very animated person because your voice is very animated. Take the mic, April. Uh, no, even in if you talk to me face to face, you will see that I don't uh, use my my hands. Uh, I laugh a lot, but. Uh, not with my hands or my um, sometimes a little bit with my my head uh, i look uh, that is more 
I look uh, far away, for example. I look to the left, to the link, to the right. But you know that gesturing, uh, doing gesture is very dangerous. A, a couple of times, the ladies, uh, I know, uh, we were drink. We, we have the, some uh, uh, glasses in front of us on table. And uh, if somebody stra- starts to talk with gesturing, and what happened? I the glass on the floor <laughs> with all the... Oh, dear. <laughs> So it is so dangerous. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't think I, I uh, do a lot of uh, gestures. I wonder if anybody's ever studied how many glasses get broken in Italy compared with the rest of the world. That's an inter- that would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> but there are reasons for. I mean, this was just to show that hands are important in communication, in um, and not just in humans, but among primates. And touch itself is very important between humans and between other animals. You know, dogs don't hold hands, I swear it. But they do touch and they do like the contact. We need contact. So holding hands is really important. That's why you should get it right, how to hold hands. How to shake hands, very important first impressions. But how to hold hands, and I think we learn that really from our mothers and According to scientists, the actual physical act of holding hands releases oxytone, uh, um, oxytocin, yeah, uh, which is a hormone, which helps to cement relationships okay, and can raise affection between a couple. So just that act of holding your partner's hand can actually help you um, in bonding and keeping and maintaining a relationship. Um, If you're already in a relationship, then holding hands can actually reduce stress hormones as well. So it's actually good for your health, which is amazing. (laughs) Um, And it's also a declaration of devotion. It it also shows other people that you're together, which can kind of, you know, if you've got somebody in a group and they're eyeing up your significant other and you just notice it, it's a good idea. Just grab the hand. It's like saying, he's mine get off (laughs) you send basically a message to everybody around you mine not available yeah and then rapport it is a really strong mirror image i don't know if you've heard of mirroring in body language when you mirror somebody you kind of copy what they do you shouldn't do it to the point of mimicking them though mimic is a bit negative mirroring is a natural should be a natural process when somebody touches their face you suddenly find yourself touching your face it shows rapport there's that word again for you april (laughs) and so if you hold hands it's a very if you look at two people holding hands it's a mirror image of each hand really okay so um it is an important aspect of human relationships however let's go to the video I don't know if you've seen it I don't know if you've watched it okay I'm going to it's very short I'm going to share the link with you again it's an associated press video so I'll share the link with you you'll have to sit through the awful adverts I'm so sorry about that but if you haven't already watched it um, take 20 seconds of your life and just watch it okay Okay, I'll take that as from April that you've watched it, April. 
Shiny, thank you. Good. Finished is clear. <laughs> OMG from April. I take it you haven't watched it already then, April. Take the mic. Uh, yeah, it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I was Teresa May, if I were Teresa May, I will wash my hands a lot if I'm home again. Oh my God. Sorry, Trump. <laughs> okay. Ah, so you'd say he, oh, in, interesting, Shiny. Shiny, take the mic. Tell us what you just said for people who can't see the text. Uh, we will say he's flirting with her in Asia. Okay, so a definite flirt. They're both married. That is a scandal. <laughs> but maybe he's just saying, you're mine. <laughs> I'm your president now. <laughs> ah, Monique, I'm going to come to you in a second. Hey, um, Eleanor, how did you how did it make you said oh dear he he so a mixture of embarrassed uh embarrassment and amusement <laughs> take the mic yes yes it's amusing uh, i think but uh i i i wouldn't like uh, to be on her place <laughs> perhaps uh i will uh, sorry call. could you say that i wouldn't like to be where on her place Oh, in, in her place, in her, in her place. place, in her yeah. place, yeah, her uh, place. Um, I wouldn't like to be in her shoes. We say sometimes yes. as well, yeah. Uh, but in her place, yeah, absolutely. Strangely, on that particular video, you'll see comments are disabled for this video. I think we oh. all know why, <laughs> don't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we know. we know. But there have been lots of comments around the world, and especially in the British press. Now, some of them went off on one about our special relationship and they tried to put a positive spin on it. But no matter how hard they tried to put a positive spin on it, people have reacted very, and if Mr. Trump listens to this, Mr. Trump, people have reacted very negatively to what's seen as your paternalistic attitude towards the leader of the United Kingdom. And um, that particular part that Monique mentioned, Monique, take the mic. What did you find more I shocking? I, I yeah. Feel like, you know, because I feel that someone is, don't patronize me, you know, I feel like a, uh, like a, when you feel that uh, that kind of gesture could make me feel that I'm inferior of that the other person. So I never, I mean, I, I can't take it like that. Maybe, of course, maybe it's not. Or maybe like, a, or when you have, a, you know, when you want to finish something as quickly as you can, and it's like a, the, I don't know, I, don't, I, I, I see that just. I think a, you a said it perfectly. Offensive. Patronizing. Yeah. Um, if you look at the 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 meaning behind the word patronizing, the actual definition is to treat them with an apparent kindness which betrays a feeling of superiority. And it's yeah. that little hand tap. I mean, I thought, oh, okay, you know, just a yeah. moment of holding hands, fine <laughs> like, support. Oh, and then I saw the woman. hand tap, doof, doof, doof. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I, exactly what April put, OMG. <laughs> I mean, I can only hope that at some point behind a pillar, she just gave him a good slap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cruel maybe but oh really this is not good <laughs> yeah um we're going to run out of, well we have run out of time but i'd just like to mention something which is me being a bit naughty really um because there are other ways that he could have offered support or an arm in arm yeah or offering somebody's arm you mentioned it april helping somebody people have said oh he's frightened of steps i mean honestly this is this was in the press that he's frightened of going down the stairs and she was giving him support. Didn't look like that to me. And I've seen him on loads of steps. I don't think he's a stepophobe or whatever that is. Uh, but he could have offered her, just taken her by the elbow. I don't know if you've ever been guided like that. April, as a nurse, you must have done that at some point, just holding somebody by the elbow to, to guide them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why I, when I finished uh, watching the, the video, 
uh, I was going back to that part of uh, what uh, holding the hands on uh, to to be able to see if there is a stair, but it there, there wasn't any, so it was so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but well done. That's what I'd call critical thinking. I would call that very good critical thinking. Actually looking at it and going, okay, well, what happened before? What happened after? What is the context, the real context of this? Because we do tend to live in a soundbite world where we get little videos that have been clipped from bigger videos just because somebody's got something they want to make. And every single newspaper reacted differently depending on their political persuasion. Um, honestly, it was hilarious to watch. Um, you've, you also mentioned we won't comment like this if it was Obama. Okay, we wouldn't if. Okay, we wouldn't comment like this if it was Obama. Obama can hold my hand anytime, April. <laughs> I just go. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I will not wash my hands for a year, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yes, knowing who the people are in this does make a difference. But it, that difference is interesting in itself. How we perceive it because of who they are is interesting too. Um, shiny, even if I know the person, I wouldn't let them touch me. Interesting. Again, that could be your cultural um, upbringing that it's just not appropriate. Yeah. Oh, once upon a time, it would have been a huge scandal in the UK. But as I've told you before, we're much more touchy feely in the UK now, There's much more hugging going on than cold informal handshaking as it used to be. So that has changed. But even so, that little tap, that little was so patronizing. It's unbelievable. Um, but to end up, and this is me being naughty, okay, I'm just going to be naughty. I'm going to share a photo with you and with this, with this proviso, at least when he's holding, when he was holding her hand, she knew where his hand was. So have a look at this photo. <laughs> this one is nice. <laughs> <laughs> so which would you prefer, Monique? <laughs> this one, of course, the last one. <laughs> That's perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> April's just gone, ooh. <laughs> this is going to be such a frustrating session for anybody who watches the replay. <laughs> We're gonna go, what? <laughs> oh Shiny, you'd let me hold your hand. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Oh no, okay, no, April. What about me? me? <laughs> it was you, April. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, that's nice though. That's nice. Because I think even if it's not culturally um a norm, I, I really am a big believer in holding hands. Um, especially if you need comfort at any time. You've got to have the right hand holder though. It's got to be the right person. It's got to be Obama, not Trump. <laughs> Thank you, Shiny. Thank you. You'd lead me across the road. Excellent. I often need help crossing the road. <laughs> Ask my husband. <laughs> Follow the, the white light or something like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the white stick for light. <laughs> I'll take you to the other side if you want to. <laughs> oh, sorry, shiny. <laughs> okay, before we finish, um, did you enjoy the session? And um, I know it's a bit frustrating not being able to actually show anything, but really, these when you come to Associated Press stuff, it's not worth messing about with Google's terms and conditions. They are on it like a... You know, we're all over it like a rash. But uh, any questions before we finish? But it is uh, just a pity that uh, we are only five ladies. I, I'm I, about, Did you yeah. notice Marco suddenly couldn't speak? <laughs> yeah, he it, spoke the whole of the last session and suddenly it, we're all <laughs> I can't speak. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it is true. It is true. Yeah, because I want to to know what uh, the point of view uh, from the from men, from male uh, people. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll post if you if you have a look at the um, way we shake hands. 
um, topic in the forum. I'll post it here. We have got Mohit and Larry who are talking about it as well. Um, so I'll post this session in there and we'll invite them. We'll say, what do you think, guys? We need a man's perspective. Absolutely. It should always be a balance, yin, yang, etc. And um, see what they think about holding hands. But I, I do think we shouldn't tax you know, the, the romantic thing that a lot of the British press came up with is twaddle because holding hands is more than just about romance and uh, Valentine's Day and chivalry. It, it is about comfort. It is about support. It is about guidance as well. However, having seen, because I heard about it before I saw the video and I, for once, I don't normally, but for once I, I searched out the video because I wanted to see it and um, yeah <laughs> when I saw it I was like OMG but it is also a cultural thing however we're talking about two Western leaders here so it's not like the Bush and the Sheik um, that being a cultural meeting I thought actually you know for Bush I think he did quite well to be honest <laughs> And it can also be in some cultures, it's just a sign of mutual respect and deep friendship. It has nothing to do with gender uh, and equality or any sexual connotation. Okay, They don't go wandering that hand in hand around, but they, you, know, you will find people will hold hands where, where we might not in the West. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Globalization is changing this attitude towards handholding, as it already has in the UK, by the way. So even if you don't hold hands in your culture currently, it could become the norm. And um, yeah. <laughs> but there are other ways you can do it. You can put your hand around somebody's waist. You can just go arm in arm together. You don't need to hold hands. Um, so I think the choice that he made, that Trump made, of holding her hand and patting her hand was very deliberate. I don't think it was accidental. I don't think it was a natural gesture. I think it was planned and it was, you're my Maggie now. <laughs> Okay, so we but, will uh, finish. Yeah, sorry, April. Yeah, elephant, elephant hold trunks. I they think. do. They yeah. intertwine their trunks. Yeah, absolutely. And they they do um, use their trunks as if they're hands. So yeah, absolutely. Although baby elephants grab hold of their mummy's tail, so <laughs> we shouldn't emulate what they do all the time. <laughs> I, I think that's one of the best things about the internet, becoming aware of other cultures and what's the norm and what's accepted and what we should be shocked by and what we shouldn't be shocked by and maybe shouldn't be shocked at all. <laughs> I mean, it's fine to me, however you want to express your affection or your support or, your, or to comfort somebody, hand round the shoulder, hand round the waist, hand in hand, I don't really care. But when it's the leader of my country being patronized I do kind of care <laughs> but anyhow um any other questions before we finish you're happy good well read I, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't see the, the pictures and the video because uh, I avoid to watch any pictures or comment about both of them especially about Trump so that's why but you've seen them I, now yeah okay no. so no i didn't I, I just suddenly thought you were going oh my god and you hadn't actually watched it okay i hadn't seen i hadn't seen I hadn't any of the photos yeah yeah i'm so sorry april <laughs> i did kind of warn you it was going to be about that this session <laughs> and we can laugh at things absolutely i was highly amused as well as being slightly annoyed <laughs> Anyway, take care. I'll see you in the next session and um, I look forward to it. Bye. So there's a, a symbolic aspect to holding hands. Now I'm going to share... Um, link with you because this is a I think it's Associated Press 
uh, image. I'm hoping it will work. Um, so this is what I would call, um, I think, the weird handshake. Okay. And um, if you look at the actual link, I'm hoping it will work. This is from Business Insider. Now, this is a handshake, but it's almost a cross between a handshake and a handhold. So I'd like you to look at the image and then come and join me in the chat. So raise your hand, click on the request to speak button and come and join me here and tell me what you... I'm sorry I can't share it in the actual um, webinar, but I, I believe it's an Associated Press. I don't want to get on their bad side and end up with a, ba a ban. <laughs> But raise your hands if you'd like to come and discuss that picture with me, okay? Okay, Monique, I've invited you in. Uh, I'll wait for Monique to join, Shiny, and then I'll invite you in too. Okay, it always takes a little bit of time to get in. You've got to go through the um, call quality test first. But hopefully Monique will show up any second now. Hi Monique, can you hear me? Can we hear you? Sure, Don't forget to unmute. Okay. Yes, unmute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Great. I'll invite Shiny as well. But Monique, you're the first one in. So whilst Shiny is joining us, what do you think of that picture? Does it say anything to you? Do you think it's weird? I think it's really weird. But yeah, I mean, in, in the way he's holding her hand, it's a bit. Yeah, but I mean, it looks like. A... OK. Oh, again, I can't type holding hands or holding someone's hand now it's a strange one because sometimes people will insist on holding both your hands that's weird to me that's a different kind of hand holding then if somebody takes both your hands in theirs it's like they want you to pray let's pray together <laughs> oh no get off me <laughs> Shaking hands, you have to face each other. That's a good one, April. Yeah, absolutely. When you shake hands, it'd be very weird. Can you imagine shaking hands with the person behind you? It just wouldn't happen, would it? You're face to face with the person. And that doesn't always happen with holding hands either. That's very true. Holding hands tends to be side by side. Good. Good point. And shiny, quite right. It would be annoying if we shook because you've used that wood, it would be annoying if we shook hands for a long time. Yes, it would be like, oh, come on, get it over with, let go. <laughs> Very true. Very true. And a good point. Any other ideas about the difference? Okay, that. If we take it, that's the difference. What are the similarities then between holding hands and shaking hands? I mean, to me, shaking hands is pretty much hello or goodbye or sealing an agreement, as Frank pointed out. Read, read the article. Um, he's got some very good points there as well. OK. Okay, Marco, holding is more for couples. Yeah, that's where the Beatles song comes in, isn't it? Uh, the Beatles song is uh, when I say that's something, I want to hold your hand. By the way, in, when they sing, it's I want to I wanna hold your hand. <laughs> and it says, you let me be your man. You'll let me hold your hand. Okay. And then it goes on to love. So, yeah, you've got that couples, love, romance kind of a thing. Aha, thank you. Okay, Eleanor wrote about the golden handshake. Yep, 
and there's the golden parachute as well, the golden handshake when you are welcomed into an organization with a large amount of money. If anybody would like to throw a large amount of money at me, I'm quite happy to join your organization. And the golden parachute when you leave a company and they give you a large amount of money, neither of which has ever happened to me, <laughs> which is very sad. But yeah, April, you're right. Holding hands isn't always about romance because children hold behind. Oh, when I was a child. The, the competition between me and my sisters about who was going to hold mum's hand. It was awful. Talk about sibling rivalry. It's embarrassing to think about it now. <laughs> so mothers hold their child's hand and children want to hold their mother's hand. That's not, re re that's not romantic. Marco, shaking hands is more for meetings. Yeah, the sealing the deal, to shake hands on something. Absolutely. Let's shake on it. Yeah, and that means to shake hands in agreement. Sometimes that can be contractually binding as well. Um, again, have a look at the thread if you're interested in that aspect of it. Yeah, not siblings rivalry, sibling. Sibling, oh, not sibling, sibling either. Sibling rivalry. The rivalry between siblings, that's brothers and sisters, okay? Uh, Monique, yes, to lead someone, yeah? Take the hand to lead them, maybe through a dangerous situation, maybe in the dark. Yeah? I mean, hand-holding is um, really important to contact, I should say, sorry, not just hand-holding, but human contact is really important to people. Um, and I think we underestimate its importance unless we are in a situation where we are unable to form any kind of contact with people. Okay. Um, the yank and pull handshake. Well, there you go. It's a sort of a power play kind of handshake. And uh, again, worth talking about. But then something happened in the UK. And this is what we're going to talk about. Not about shaking hands, but holding hands. So first, I'd like to ask you all, what's the difference between shaking hands and holding hands. Oh, I can't type today. What is, is, is there a difference between shaking hands and holding hands? Oh, kissing hands. Yeah, we're not going to go into that one. Oh, I don't want to even think about Trump and kissing hands. <laughs> There's the movement. Yes, shiny. Yeah, absolutely. When you shake hands, there is movement, usually up and down. OK, um, so that's one difference. Yes. Shanking doesn't take much time. Be careful. There is a verb to shank someone, which means to stab them with a shank. OK, <laughs> that's sort of prison vocabulary. <laughs> So shaking, I think you meant to say. Shaking hands doesn't take much time. Very true. Shouldn't. It should I think there's a set time, like two seconds. Any longer than that, it gets creepy. Um <laughs> so shaking hands is is short. There's a set amount of time. Whereas holding hands, well, I guess it depends how long you want to hold hands for. Yep. Rather than holding it, yeah. Rather than keeping the moment. Shaking hands can be long too. I'm going to make you defend that statement if you dare to raise your hand, April. <laughs> but yeah, but there is a point when you're shaking hands at which you have to stop. Um, otherwise, you shake the other person's hand off or their arm drops off or something. So the over enthusiastic. But we're not going to talk about shaking hands today. We are going to talk about holding hands. OK. OK, so you don't want to hold Trump's hands. Yeah, hands or hand. We tend to say holding hands. Okay. 
Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. And Lynn here from the Learn English Network, in case you're wondering where you are. Uh, but I think you all know me. <laughs> I did discover the other day that sometimes people fall into this session and they don't actually say hello. And then they sort of like get very confused and leave. So this is for learning English. OK, if you just happen to be here listening in on the stream or in the uh, session. <laughs> so 111, if you can hear my dulcet tones. That would be very helpful. And today um, we're going to do a lot of screen sharing. And I will want a few volunteers to come and speak with me. Um, but we'll start with a screen share of the forum because this topic began because of Frank asking a question and asking me to um, do a little bit of correction for him on the forum. OK, so let me just turn screen share on. You but you'll find it here under Chit Chat Science. What's scientific about holding hands? Well, of course, Frank is very much into the body language. He is a body language expert, much more than myself. And um, we've talked about shaking hands before. OK, and this was specifically about the impressions a handshake can give. OK, and um, I think we all have at least shaken one person's hand in our life. But because of the news, I've decided we're not going to talk about handshakes. You can join the conversation here. Um, and I did do the correction. I think um, actually Larry also corrected parts of it. Um, so there's double corrections out there somewhere. <laughs> um, and Frank then mentioned a particular handshake between Donald Trump and Neil Gorsh 